Hi everyone. In the topic of bacterial photosynthesis, we have learned about the light phase, oxygenic photosynthesis and oxygenic photosynthesis in the previous parts. Now, in this part, we are going to discuss about dark phase or fixation or assimilation of carbon dioxide in microorganisms. As we know, the process of conversion of light energy to chemical energy is called photosynthesis. And we know that photosynthesis is divided into two phases, light phase and dark phase. So this we have already learned in the previous parts. Now, in this part, we are going to discuss about the second phase of photosynthesis that is dark phase or fixation of carbon dioxide or assimilation of carbon dioxide in microorganisms. In the dark phase, the reduction of carbon dioxide or the fixation of carbon dioxide occurs by using the chemical energy of light reaction. So what is the chemical energy of light reaction? Nothing but the ATP and NADPH. And this dark phase do not require the light. Hence, this is called as dark reaction. Don't think that it is occurring during the night time. It will occur during the daytime also, but it do not require the light. So that's why we call this as dark phase. The net product of dark reaction in the reduction of carbon dioxide to carbohydrates using the assimilatory power of light reaction is known as carbon dioxide assimilation. That means the conversion of carbon dioxide to carbohydrates by using ATP and NADPH is going to be called as carbon dioxide assimilation or carbon dioxide fixation. Microorganisms can fix carbon dioxide or convert the inorganic carbon molecule to organic carbon that is carbohydrate and assimilate it in certain ways. So here are the few. The first one is the Kelvin cycle, which is also called as Kelvin-Benson cycle or Melvin-Kelvin cycle or reductive pentose phosphate pathway. Reductive pentose phosphate pathway. That is the reverse of pentose phosphate pathway. And this Kelvin cycle is going to be absorbed in most of the photosynthetic microorganisms. And the second way of carbon dioxide fixation by microorganisms is reductive TCA cycle, where examples are archaebacteria, for example, thermoproteus bacteria, and green sulfur bacteria is uh, going to be of chlorobium. And then coming to the estyle coe pathway is another pathway where the methanogens, acetogens, and sulfate reducers fixes the carbon dioxide. Then the next one is the hydro C propionate cycle where the chlorofexis, which is a green sulfur photoautotrope, fixes the carbon dioxide by using this hydroxy propionate cycle. So this is the introduction to the dark phase fixation and we will discuss each type of carbon dioxide fixation pathways in different parts. Thank you.